A couple weeks ago, I made a little video about previewing a hook and about how Taylor Swift does it in her latest song. In this new song by Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello, titled Senorita, there's a very similar technique going on, uh, but it's not identical. It's not identical because the chorus appears at the beginning of the song, so there's nothing to preview. So I can't call this technique previewing, but again, it's very similar. What happens is this. The chorus itself is not very repetitive, for a pop song at least. It has three different melodies in it, actually. It has the first half, which is one melody that repeats itself. Then it has fragmentation that sounds like this. And then there's a cadential melody. So three different melodies, and it's not really clear which melody is the main hook at this point in the beginning of the song. That's all fine and good, but again, this is a pop song. It wants to be a hit song. It actually is a hit song by now. Um, so what you want to do in order to help it be a hit song is you want to have something to hook the listener on. You want to have a main hook. And what they do is they make this fragmentation part emerge as the main hook by planting it in the verses in a slightly different form. So again, this is the fragmentation part. And it appears in every chorus and actually every part of the chorus because the two other choruses are in two parts. And here again. And in the final chorus again. You get the idea. Uh, but again, all these choruses, like the first chorus, are not super repetitive. That's just one part of three different melodies in the chorus. But they make it emerge as the main hook by planting it in the verses. Now, like I said, it's developed a little bit, it's expanded each of these fragments that gets a space, so it doesn't function as fragmentation anymore, but it just takes a little bit of a different face, even though it's the same melodic fragment. And again in the first, second verse. This third verse you only hear that fragment once and Camila has her own sort of credential uh, ending to this to this verse so again another nice technique that's effective again making a making a song uh, catchy and hooky a lot of times involves finding creative ways to maximize the repetition of a hook while masking that repetition. Because if you just repeat things as they are all the time, it can get too monotonous and boring. But this is one way, among many ways, to maximize the repetition of the same thing to help it uh, be absorbed in the listener's mind while still keeping it interesting. So, hope that's useful. Uh, South Paris, top 40, top 40 Theory. I can't even pronounce my own company's name. I'll see you next time.